Hi everyone, welcome to another webisode of The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com. Today I'm in the company of Dr. Afshin Gofrani from Aestheticon, and we're going to be talking about abdominal plasty. Now, for all of those who don't know what that is, it's basically tummy tuck. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Thank you very much for having me here. So, for all of our viewers who want to know what goes into a tummy tuck procedure, mm -hmm. let's talk about that, and my follow-up question will be, who's an ideal candidate? Great. So let me first answer who would like a tummy tuck. Uh, actually, we all know the problems. We go to gym, we follow a diet, we try to lose weight, and we do, and we're happy, but sometimes there is too much of tissue in the lower abdomen. Right. In women, mostly after giving birth, you cannot train away this tissue. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, it will remain there. And these are the candidates for a removal, surgical removal of this excess of tissue, which we call abdominoplasty or tummy tuck. So is this excessive skin that's just hanging yes. and there's no way that it'll contract because women have either given birth or yeah, what about obesity? Does that yes, play a having factor? having lost weight, a lot of weight. So basically what happens is you overstretch the skin. Right. And once you overstretch it, the, the forces that could retract it are not effective anymore. Right. And you cannot train it away. Right. And therefore you'll need to have some kind of surgical procedure yes, to do this. That's true. What goes into a, a surgical procedure? What goes into it is, first of all, a thorough assessment of the situation, a discussion explaining the cons and the pros. And uh, after both sides are convinced it's the right thing to do, uh, there is a surgery involved, which usually takes place at a hospital, where the excess of tissue is removed. And what I always recommend to do, the muscle, underlying muscle, is tightened. Mm -hmm. It's serving as an internal body, giving you even a better shape and a flat abdomen. Uh, recovery takes usually 10 to 14 days, one overnight stay in general, and after two weeks, majority of the patients can go back to their normal daily routine. I'm not talking about sportive activities. Mm -hmm. That would take longer, four to six weeks, but daily routine, yes. Okay, so if anyone wants to get this procedure, they have to think about the two-week recovery time yes. period. Um, is that the best case or worst case? This is an average. On average. Yeah. I, I have had patients after five days, they were back in the office, right. still with the sutures in place. Right. And others would take three, three weeks to recover, but usually two weeks is a good estimate. One final question that I have for you. Technology has made this procedure a lot safer these days, and uh, anything that you want to add in terms of the technology that you're using that's modern, which is different from, let's say, a procedure done five years ago? Let's talk about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. So what has developed recently are devices and different techniques to retract the skin non-surgically. So you can use this to even improve and enhance the results that you have. You can tighten the front abdomen very nicely by surgery, but the flanks, the lateral parts, you can address with other devices, which in a non-invasive way can help you shrink the skin. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for this insightful information. Thank you very much.